I'm Susan O'Dell. Welcome to the Foodell Kitchen. When it's summertime, you're going to find that squash or squashes are in abundance and you're going to find all kinds of great shapes and varieties. This is a yellow squash, but you're going to find crookneck, which are all bumpy and have a little crooked neck. Zucchini, obviously, is very, very plentiful. There are patty pan squashes and all kinds of small squashes. And with these, you really don't need to do much. They're, they're picked young. Their skin is still very soft. You can eat them raw, just cut up and salads or you can saute them gently. You just don't need to cook them very much. They're a delightful, very inexpensive vegetable. They're actually a fruit, but most people consider them a vegetable and they're delicious all summer long. The other type of squash is a winter squash, or what we call in North America anyway, a winter squash. And we, we call them winter squashes because they are harvested at the end of summer and then they're stored and we eat them over the cold winter months. They become very mature in the ground before they're picked and their skin hardens. And we can cure them and dry them and keep them in a cool, dark place for months at a time. So our winter squashes would include something like this, which is a butternut squash, an acorn squash, a pumpkin, and several other varieties. Spaghetti squash is a really popular one too. So today let's look at our butternut squash. We call it a winter squash but really you can find them year round because they do store so well and they are absolutely delicious roasted. So let's look at two ways to roast the butternut squash. Roasting butternut squash really brings out the sweetness of the flesh. It adds a delicious concentration of flavor, just as it would if you roasted beets or carrots or turnips or even potatoes. So there are two ways that I like to roast them. One is with the skin on if I'm going to puree the flesh, and the other way is I'm going to peel the squash, cut it into chunks, and, and roast it for a little bit less time and just use the chunks as they are. Let's have a look at both methods. So the butternut squash has a very hard exterior. Be careful when you cut it open. I'm going to use a very long chef's knife and I'm going to dig the tip in about halfway down the length of the squash. And then I'm going to rock the knife towards me and down on the board. Then I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing for the other half of the squash. Tip in and then rock the knife down directly to the board. If it doesn't go all the way through, turn it over and just follow your knife marks and do the same thing on the other side. Comes right open. So if I'm going to make, say, a butternut squash soup, I'm going to puree the flesh after I roast it. That means I'm just going to roast it just like this. I put a little bit of olive oil or canola oil on my baking tray and I'm going to place my squash flesh side down right on the tray. You can do two or three on one tray if you have a big tray. I'm going to roast it at 400 degrees for about an hour. You really need that flesh to be nice and soft and delicious. It'll brown a little bit on the underside and again really bring out the sweetness of the squash. Now, if you want to use the roasted squash, say, in a salad or maybe even a stir fry, then you want to cut it in chunks and roast the chunks and then just use it as it's roasted. You're not going to puree it. So I'm going to remove the seeds and I'm going to prepare the squash for eating now. You also are going to want to peel the squash because you can't eat the hard outside skin. I'm just using my vegetable peeler. I'm just going to go all around the outside of the squash and take off that peel. Once you've peeled the squash and removed the seeds, now just trim the ends and then cut it into the size pieces that you want to eat for whatever it is that you're making. I'm just going to slice it into small pieces. Oh, about half an inch. It squares approximately. About like that. Once you've cut your squash into the desired size, just place all the pieces on a baking tray. I like to toss it with just a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper. If you want it a little bit sweeter, add a little bit of maple syrup. It actually really brings out the sweetness that way, makes it super delicious. Now one, because it's already cut and we don't have the tough skin, it's going to take a lot less time to roast. Just about 20 minutes at 400 degrees for our small chunks. You can test it with a toothpick or the tip of a sharp knife, just poke it gently and see if it's nice and soft. Both my nice cubes of butternut squash and my, entire, my half of butternut squash have roasted. These little cubes took about 20 minutes. You can see some nice coloration on sides of the squash. It's nice and tender when you bite it. It's great. Perfect for salads or just tossing some rice or maybe even a stir fry. 
the uh, half of my butternut squash that I roasted was in the oven for about an hour. And if you look at it, I'll turn it over, it's still hot. We've got some great caramelization and great color on the inside flesh. Now you just need to scoop it out of its hard, um, hard peel. It's perfect for a puree. It's almost the consistency of mashed potatoes. You also want to discard the seeds because we don't eat those, although you can eat them. They're not quite as good as pumpkin seeds though. We've got lots of recipes on Food L for roasted butternut squash and also for the fresh summer squashes. So don't forget about those. They're delicious with very little preparation. Bon appetit.